Well, good morning, good morning. Uh, I have decided to set aside my adult responsibilities today, which would involve things that are boring, like housework, to finish up some journals that I've had sitting on the shelf for a couple weeks. This first one is already up on Etsy, but I thought I'd do a flip through here for you. The owner can opt to receive the original book guts. This book is from 1910. It's got kind of a cool picture in the front here, too. Anyway, the journal's about five inches across, seven and a half inches tall. It's got a hundred pages if you count front and back, and it does tie closed with this sorry silk ribbon, which I'll show you at the end. Um, inside the front cover is a blank library card and pocket. I have clipped on, if you remember, I asked for opinions a while back and they were quite divided. So I've clipped on uh, these things that you can use if you choose to. Um, we've got a vintage flash card and just a little reproduction little note, note card there, journaling card, whatever you want to call it. And this is a altered paper clip that's got a little pocket in it filled with some goodies exciting and a couple things clipped behind there I like to kind of leave some things for the owner to discover so I'm not going to pull out everything this envelope has um, a vintage picture and this is an actual vintage letter handwritten this is some nice watercolor paper painty paper um, this is some seam binding on the edge here. I love how the adds texture. Graph paper. This this little sticker will come off if you don't like that. This flips out. So you got a lot of arting space there. Or writing space, whatever you like. I mean, put the back side there. And some more painty paper here vintage photograph and a sticker, <clears throat> a couple journaling cards, vintage bingo card, some old sheet music, I love this sewn trim on here, yummy yummy, and this is a made from uh, old sewing pattern instructions, this is the signature card, my hand painted tag, you get the little definition of bricolage in there, which is my favorite word ever, you guys know. I'll dress out on this page a bit. And a little belly band here with a vintage photo and a vintage airmail letter tucked behind there. Look at this old certificate from 1964. So cool. Love the calligraphy on that. So you can see there's a lot of space for your artwork in here. I try to try to leave lots of room for you to add all of your goodness. I got a big uh, journaling page here with a poem by Robert Louis Stevenson on there. Good stuff. Look at those dresses. I am in love. This just a little vintage butterfly sheet here, and then a quote. You can use that for a journaling card. I've got an old postcard, and this is one of my reproduction photographs. This is pretty fun. This is actually clipped on, and. So it comes off, and you can use that however you choose. And lots of great textures and space in there. And then these go on the back. Ta-da! You know, you can just pull all that stuff out if you don't want to use it there and put your own stuff in. And use that stuff somewhere else. There's a vintage photo in here. This is 
an old yearbook page. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's out. Another one of those sewn seam binding edges. Another pocket with goodies in it. Shorthand page. I love that. Sorry about that. These strings from the sari silk can be fly away when they want to be. Little sewn tabs on the edges there. And then the back is a vintage photograph put in with photo corners, so if you don't like it there, you can totally take it out. And we've got a little eyelet here for the sari silk, so that if you don't like that tie, again, you can take that out and replace it with your own. So that just goes around like that. Tie is closed. And we are done. So if you're interested, you can pop on over to Etsy. She is up for sale. And thank you for watching. And now I'm going to continue ignoring my responsibilities and work on more journals. <laughs>